So they've got to look to attack more. They've got to carry the game to the opposition more. Yeah, I think that's right too. And they've done that this season. They've, uh, they certainly have. Obviously, the the only change, the one little worry from England's point of view, this uh, this Test match is that uh, they've had the same bowling attack right throughout the Test series. It doesn't often happen. And uh, today, it's changed. This Test match has changed with Jones not in the side. Fantastic catch. That is so difficult to do. Magnificent cricket this from the Australians, and as so often, led by Warren, but backed up by something special. This is as good as it gets. These catches are very difficult. Just uh, watch him move and move very late. Wonderful catch by Hayden, getting both hands to it, staying down. And, uh, oh, well, I think they all realise it. You can see the celebration there. That's a big wicket, too. Triscothic for 43. It's 82 for one. The England captain at the crease now. At the crease because of um, this delivery. A lot of uh, spin on that ball. And watch him go down. Beautifully taken at ankle height. Inches above the ground. quite good leg spinner in the commentary box but just look at the subtlety of Warren's dismissal of Triscothic that was the side spinner that Triscothic played quite well and then the next ball he bowled was more of a top spinner slightly more over spin coming onto the bat a little quicker and Hayden took a brilliant catch and we can see those two deliveries from the opposite end they look similar from the batsman's point of view but you'll just see here on the left Warren is applying more spin there side spin here just a little bit more over spin almost as if it's a top spinner going straight on rather than turning so much. There is some leg spin applied to that one on the right as well, but there's more overspin as well. That's the side spinner there, the ball before. And we'll come back to it in a sec. Oh, oh, great stuff, Warney. Squeeze it here, squeeze it. So we'll just have a look at the side spinner again. That's the side spinner, trying to imply as much leg spin as possible to make the ball spin into the batsman. He plays that one well. Then that's the overspinner. A slightly more top spin on it. It comes onto the bat a little quicker, glides, glides off the edge, and brilliantly taken that slip. Well, there are two things about that. Uh, one, that it was a delightful explanation. And two, where was he, Simon Hughes, when I was having all my problems with leg spin? Too busy playing. <laughs> 